recorded it. it. Here would be the weirdest thing. If secretly, the whole time that we were having sex, the girl next door who says she's making films is actually making pornos of us and not real films. Which girl next door? What the fuck's her name with the blonde hair from Texas? Anna. Yeah, she's making porn. Maybe she has a it. secret camera, hidden camera in my room, and she's filming us. But not real films. She's making porno films. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, of us. Wouldn't that be crazy? Well, you should look around my room and see if anyone's recording. No, no this is bullshit. <laughs> I mean, the window's already open. Every has seat again in the whole fucking neighborhood because she's having sex. Yeah, but they're telescopes. With their telescopes. That'd be great showing the Hasidic with the telescope watching us having sex. We could watch them with the telescope and watch, make pornos of the Hasidic But Jews. do you think the Hasidics would get mad if we showed them like with the telescope in a film? Is that I like, think they'd get more upset if they showed if we showed them having sex. But you don't they think it was a joke if we showed them one with the telescope like looking at us. I don't think they'd watch our film anyway. They wouldn't? No, probably not. I don't think they go to the movies. Oh, fuck it, we can't show them. Fuck it, they're out of the film. Why? You don't want to spy on them? Like Anna's spying on us? No, I mean, the Hasidics are cool because they have the Kabbalah and the Sifra <laughs> and the Tree of Life, which also comes from the, the, the Ayurvedic Indians and the same subatomic stuff, the Hindu pantheon. But wouldn't that be cool? Anna would be for make, actually making pornos of us instead of making real budget films. Or we could make pornos of her. But she doesn't have anything but a fucking cat. She's not even having sex. How do you know? I don't know. <laughs> she's probably a lesbian. She I don't think fuck... she's a lesbian. Yeah. Her, her and Vinny secretly at night. Yeah. They go into each other's rooms. No, but don't you think this could be good? We'd have to work all fast. I mean, because we got to edit. we got a lot of material to work with here, sweetie. Yeah. That's true. I don't like this film anymore. I love this film. I don't think you're fully committed, though. That's not fair, because I'm thinking of you in your blue coat with the white fur <laughs> when you're walking through the city at certain parts. And then also we got to be like one, one snapshot where Jennifer's kind of pissed off and she's outside like opening ceremony like, I'm having to wait in line and then it shows us inside and we're like checking out shit and those dudes are in the mirror going and they're playing, why? Lines like all poked up, <laughs> dancing around and shit. That would be awesome. Yeah, but how are we gonna make it? How the fuck did all that shit get missed? <laughs> I mean, I was watching it like I was filming it. That's why Godard is the best because, he's like me, he doesn't cut out anything. But, oh my God, you're filming us right now. <laughs> I wouldn't cut this out either. This would be part of the film. <laughs> yeah, it's really dark. It's, right. it's too dark. But what about when I stabbed the Lawrence Wiener poster with the uh, with the mat? We missed that. We didn't get it because something malfunctioned. It wasn't meant to be caught on film. Oh, yeah, because he wouldn't be in the film. That's why, if you saw that. Lawrence Wiener is like, he's trying to avoid the film somehow. Secretly, his, he's influencing events by making the computer malfunction. He was against Rauschenberg when he said he hated chaos. He told Rauschenberg he liked logic. He's not going to be in the film. It's just his hand is, is, is influencing everything. Nah, that's bullshit. I'm not like this <laughs> Matthew Barney, Richard Sarah takeover type thing, whatever. That's I didn't say anything about Matthew Barney. I'm jealous already. Jealous of what? Oh, he's with Bjork. Oh, Frida went to see Bjork. Ah, fuck. She called to ask me directions. Yeah, and Lucid knows Bjork, I bet, too. Lucid knows everyone. Kind of. He knows Bjork. I know he knows everyone. (laughs) I found out. See? Now I get a phone call. Who is this? Okay, let's see. Let's see. James. Oh, just uh, hanging out? What's going on? (laughs) Uh, okay, is that too late for you, James? If it is, just tell me. It's all right. Well, just let me know by then. If it's too late, then fuck it.
Okay. Okay, keep me posted. Call me when you get home. Okay, I hope you're okay. Okay, bye. I don't know, I think... Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even want to come over. It's like people are trying to stop this from happening. Stop what? Uh, yeah, yeah. But I don't think it's... I don't know if it's a good idea to have him come at 11 because we don't have any sunlight at that time. Yeah, he doesn't even get home until 8.30. We're screwed. I'm going to have to get him separately. Yeah, you can just photograph them without okay. me. Okay. You'll have to get a camera somehow. I'll get one. Let's go swimming. All right. I'm going to cut. We're, we're stopping this. We're cutting. Uh, you have to pause it there. Yeah.